Hi everyone, I am Ali from the Android Developer Relations Engineer team. As you may know, stability and performance are very critical metrics for your mobile apps. Exhibiting bad behavior in vitals will negatively affect the user experience in your app. It's also likely to result in bad rating and poor discoverability on the Play Store. For that reason, we would like to share with you a series of videos focusing on the tools and techniques you can use to understand, troubleshoot, and then improve your app vitals. Today, I'm going to talk about Android Vitals on Google Play Console. The first tool we want to share is the Google effort to help you monitor your app quality. Let's get started. Android Vitals is an initiative by Google to improve the stability and performance of Android apps and devices. When an opt-in user runs your app, the Android device loves various metrics. The Google Play Console aggregates this data and displays it in the Android Vitals dashboard. The dashboard highlights crash rate INR rate, stuck wake logs, and excessive wake gaps. There are the core vitals developers should keep attention to. For this video, I will focus on the two most important vitals, crash rate and INR rate. These are the most common issues faced by users and have a large impact on the user's experience as they will be unable to use their apps. So what are crash and INR? They are parts of app stability. A crash is an unexpected exit. When an app crashes, Android terminates the app's process and displays a dialog to let the user know that the app has stopped, as shown in the left. In this situation, user needs to restart the app and start everything again from scratch. When the UI thread of an Android app is blocked for too long, an application not responding to an error is triggered. Users see that UI is not updated as they interact and therefore feel that the app does not respond to them. If the app is in the foreground, the system displays a dialog to the user, as shown in the right. The INR dialog gives the user the opportunity to force quit the app or they can keep waiting for it. Either way, the issues block users from using the app and usually forces them to restart it. As mentioned, Crash and INR have high importance with the Play Console defining a specific category on them. This tab gives you an overview about the Crash and INR rate, as well as the top issues. You can easily filter these issues by app version, Android version, time players, and device model. It helps you to narrow your search and find the right issues to work on. If you click on one of the issues, Google Play Console will show you a detailed view of an ANR or crash. Here, you can find out information about the trend of the issue, the most affected app version, Android version, and device. Again, you can always apply filters to see all the metrics for a specific target. The best practice here is focusing on the top impact issue. You can filter the ANR cross list by your latest app version and then examine issues with the highest occurrences. Doing that allows you to have a full view of the impacted devices and OS to help you to reproduce the issue. More importantly, the detailed view lets you deep dive into the stack trace which offers the full look about the issue. Studying the look would help you identify the root cause and catch the APIs or library causing the issue. Depending on the root cause, there will be different steps you can follow to fix it. Here are a few recommendations from us. If the look points out an issue with a specific class method or light number in your code, this is a straightforward situation. You should focus on locating the part of the code causing the issue and fix it. You can use the same device model and OS to try to reproduce the issue if possible. Furthermore, you should work with your team to implement QA and testing processes to cover your code for each feature and avoid future issues. We have another video sharing about QA and testing processes. You can follow our video description for more details. In the situation where the issues come from third-party libraries you are using, we suggest that you upgrade to the latest version or revert to the last stable version. This depends on which version you are using. Additionally, it's a good idea to check the official forum of the library. Usually, the library developer will share the list of known issues, and you may be able to find the workaround for your issues. Lastly, the issues could come from the game engine you are using. Similar to the third-party libraries, we would suggest you to stay on the latest stable version of the engine or seek the support from the engine forum, community, or their engineers. Thank you for joining us today. Do subscribe and catch the rest of the series which would cover testing tools, 
techniques and process it to improve your app quality. I hope to see you soon.